Welcome back. This is the how-to on how to import a template into your Audacio app and add it to a class roster. We use the Dropbox here in Aurora, so that's where I'm going to be going from. Now, you'll notice that this says third grade Audacio. That's what I've highlighted at the moment. To the right, it says can't load, could not load file. Here's why. Audacio apps are meant to be used on Audacio um, applications that are on iPads. You cannot use them on computers. You cannot use them on an iPad. On an iPad, that does not have an iDossio app. So please make sure that when you're you're doing this, you have your Dropbox open on your iPad and you have the iDossio app imported and uh, downloaded onto your iPad and opened up. So going with the third grade iDossio, I click on that and now I'm going to import it top right hand corner. I see trash can, I see favorite, and I see export. So I'm going to export it out and where I'm going to export it to, well I'm going to go down to where it says copy link and then open in. When I click on open in, it gives me one option, Adasio, because it is an Adasio file. Click on Adasio file, Adasio is going to pop up, and it's going to import it in. Now, it is called third grade, so it will show up as third grade. Also, it has an asterisk next to it. That means it has been imported in. When I open it up, I have no roster in here. I have no students. But you will notice that there is an attendance tab. There is an effort tab. Standard 1. Standard 2. Standard 3 standard four and the fitness ground tab understanding one that's so that's our psychomotor skills and so you'll notice here there are tons and tons of things in here so what I did was I went through the Colorado standard PE standards and the sample curriculums that were created for physical education and through my experience of what a third grader should be able to by the end of third grade and I came out with these outcomes um, most of them are with the Colorado standards and sample curriculums and the parent guidebooks that are out there for third grade physical education now in Aurora we grade on PE and health standards so you'll notice standard 2 has PE and it has health outcomes in here standard 3 and 4 do the same so that's why there's four for each one. I know with PE, sometimes there are only three standards and not four. So that's why you'll notice with K1, K5, K5, there are four standards for each one because there are PE and health included. Also for standard for grades three, four, and five, you'll see that there's a fitness gram tab. We re report on fitness gram testing with third, fourth, and fifth graders. So there's a pacer, push-up, curl, up, hit and reach, height, and weight tab in there as well. Now at the top you'll see there's an attendance tab and an effort tab. I do take attendance every day. If you want to know how to do that, please see the how-to attendance to be able to do that. Also there's an effort tab. We'll have a how-to with effort and another tab, so please look for that. I'm just going to be talking about how to import this these tabs and columns into a class roster. So I'm going to put in, be putting my third grade template into my elementary PE staff. So I press and hold on third grade brings up some options, edit, copy, share, erase, and hide. I'm going to copy it into my elementary PE. So brings up copy students, copy columns, copy columns to another class. I'm going to copy all my columns to another class. Which class? It brings me up different options. Now this is a third grade template, so if it was me, I'd be adding it to my A Day 3 Williams. That's my third grade class, Miss Williams class. But this is the example, so I'm adding it to elementary PE stuff. So I add it in there, and it is already there. So when I click on my elementary PD staff, I'll have my roster information, which is here, but then I have my attendance, effort, standard, 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 and fitness gram. <coughs> oh, I do apologize. I didn't mean to cough into my mic there. Now here's the thing. If you import my template, which I've created, then you will already have my grading scales as well. If you want to know how to create the grading scales and how those are created, please see the how-to on the grading scales. But here's how it works. When I click on standard one, um, let's say we just got done with our dance unit, we performed a variety, a series of dances, all I have to do is double tap and it brings it up here. I go through and click, giving students grades, or I can press and hold, copy, copy to all column, copy down, Apologize. Let's try that again. Copy, copy to all column. Copy down. Hmm. Let's try that one again. Copy, copy to all column. Copy down. There we go. It's copied all the way down to the bottom. I press finish, and now it has. It, see, it's already set up to average the score for every student down 
for the performer a series of dances. So as a class, we averaged a 2.81. For me, that is a per close to proficient. A 4 is advanced, a 3 is proficient, a 2 is a partially proficient, a 1 is unsatisfactory, and a no grade, so absent, is not a 0, but it's no grade. So my dark green is my advanced, my light green is proficient, orange is partially proficient, red is unsat, yellow is no grade. Again, see the grading to understand those fully together. Also, with this here, it will also calculate a final grade for you on the side. It gives it a second, it will calculate the rest of the grades, but it will give you a final grade for the end of the semester for this assessment, for this standard. It does it on standard 1, 2, 3, and 4. And again, if you import my template, these grading scales will already be put into your app. You won't have to create them individually yourself. So that is how to create, that is how to import a template into your grade. If you want to keep your templates, I apologize, if you want to keep your templates separate so that you can always have them year to year instead of having them in a Dropbox or some type of uh, cloud-based system, here's what you got to do. Where it says third grade and that asterisk, I press and hold. It brings up those options again. Edit, copy, share, erase, hide. If I go to hide, it is no longer there. So right now at the top, I have visible, visible and all. Visible is highlighted, and so I'm only seeing what is visible. If I click on all, now it shows me in a shaded form of all the things that I have hidden. To bring that back up, I press and hold, and I press show, go back to visible, and it's there. So that's how you can hide and show templates so that you never have to delete them or erase them, but they're always there to have if you need to come back to them and re-import them into a class roster and how to import them in. If you have any questions, please email me, N-D-S-P-E-N-C-E-R at APS.K12. Dot co dot us. If you have questions on more how-tos or would like to know how to do specific things that I have not addressed yet, please, please, please email me or add to the comment box, but also check the playlist so to see if there's something already in there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and have a wonderful evening.